Hello, and welcome to the World's Fastest Hemi YouTube channel. Today we'll be installing an SOS coil pack. First things first, disconnect that connector. Remove the top bolt. May take a little effort to get that to break free. And then break the bottom one free as well. Once that's done, I recommend switching from the ratchet to a handheld driver. It's a little bit easier to get that uh, precision you need. And in this case, I'm using a flexible driver to allow me to uh, get a little bit more bend. Not so much necessary on this particular coil pack, but with the other coil packs uh, in more difficult to reach areas, that flexible driver can be extremely helpful. Now that the bottom bolt's removed, go ahead and remove the top bolt. Easy peasy, just those last few uh, turns by hand. Recover the bolt, and now pull that coil pack right off. In this case, since I already had the uh, coil packs installed, we just uh, take that one and plop it right back in there for you. Make sure that's seated properly and then go ahead and thread in those uh, bolts. Have to adjust the uh, seating of the coil pack to get that bolt to start threading properly. And you'll see something similar here for the lower one. Once those are threaded in, you go ahead and bring in that driver and uh, tighten them down. No need to over tighten these. They're not a load bearing part. They have no stress put on them. So the only thing you will accomplish by over tightening them is damaging your valve cover. So once that's done, you'll just want to go ahead and uh, pop in that connector and all done. All right, guys, that's our video for today. So thank you for watching and uh, don't forget to subscribe, like the video and check out worldsfastesthemi.com for all sorts of news.